Hey everyone, I'm continuing the uh, tutorial of the radiation, radiator. So, yes, uh, we made the copper material for our uh, simulation. So after that, uh, I, I will explain the tricky point. I didn't do anything. So I'm continuing the where I uh, leave. Yeah. So cells and conditions. The cells and conditions here is a radiator, as you know. Yeah. So it's a fluid, no, it's a solid. So we are changing and our, if you can give here the source term, maybe the uh, 100 what per meter cube like that, or you can do the fixed value. Yes, I'm using the fixed value and here is a fixed value tab and the constant value of 100 degrees. So it means maybe 80 degree. So it means 353. Uh, Kelvin so and then okay so the room the room yes is a fluid and edit so yeah it's air that's okay but here is a tricky point operation conditions as must be specified operating density if you don't check it you cannot uh, you cannot observe the uh, connection effect of the motion right so okay, connection effect of the motion so yes we are gonna uh, check it and OK. So after that, yeah, uh, we are continuing. So here is a wall radiator. So yes, needed convection wall, right? So we are gonna mm, create the convection wall. So the, just click on edit and the thermal. Here is the convection. Yes, you can uh, click another value for it. And the freeze stream is. Uh, 25 degrees, so it means 298 Kelvin. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So, the mesh interface, we are doing nothing here. Dynamic mesh, reference value, here, okay. Solution methods, okay, okay. Monitors, okay. The solution, hybrid in the solution. And we are just uh, keeping the hybrid and the press initialized to doing automatically the calculation activities. So if you want to observe or if you want to see the simulation after the, uh, if you want to see the animation after the simulation, so you have to one or uh, something in Tajir, uh, you have to change uh, because it, uh, it is not available for uh, seeing animation if it appears zero. So after I change it, okay, automatic export. So solution data explosion. So it's our automatics. Uh, so yes, here is the same. But if you want, you can, of course, change the so density, pressure, absolute dynamic, static, and uh, the temperature, static to enthalpy. Yeah, there. Okay, if you want, you can click on it. What, uh, what the values is calculated by ANSYS. So yeah, here's export one. So. The rank calculation, so yes, you can use it. So, how many times I will do that? The 30 seconds or per 30 seconds, I want to take data for it and the number of time steps. So, it means that I want to do one hour, so or the half an hour. So, it means 60. So, maximum iteration, yes, you have to do here uh, minimum 20. Minimum 20. If you if you do that. 50 it's much better for you but I will do just five to uh, just to fast observing the results so and I will just do the time steps so the number of time steps is, yeah they are yeah like this so it's just fasting but the first values that uh, you should do like that Okay, yeah. Then calculate. Yeah. Yeah, here is our calculations completed and yes. Yes, that's okay. Let's try to mm -hmm, let's try to understand the results. Mm -hmm. So our results is um, coming most probably we can't see the more clearly of what we want but um, actually if you are increasing your um,
decreasing your time steps and decreasing your uh, interval of time with the period of the time so and if, of course increasing the uh, your iterations yeah so you can uh, take a better result so if we want to see the whole temperature distribution so here we are creating the uh, plane so x y plane is true and the z is about like that so let's apply and see no it's not enough for us so it's about like this yeah a bit but it's not different uh, difficult it's not so important but a bit yeah so if you want create uh, the vertical or the horizontal whenever you want you can create the plane with the method tab in the xy plane that's okay yes we applied it and we want the contour okay so here is all the names it's true and uh, here is a plane one so we want to see the temperature distribution of yeah the number of contours you must be not you must you should increase it to see better results I apply it so yeah yes uh, you can understand the the whole actually the whole temperature distribution here and if you unclick one of the lanes yes that's more clear results so here yeah as you know there are um, thermal distribution the other the other uh, um, simulation now I will stop the video and I will um, show you a better uh, solution for it so to understand you to, uh, and how can you get better results so to increasing the amount of the uh, solution uh, methods solution step size like this okay yeah guys as you can see we can observe the convection effect of heat transfer so it's amazing huh? yes it's, it's heating and going up and the heated air is rising and the cold air is just down so that's the that's so many results for the nature it's like this yeah it was the our tutorial for the radiation for the, for the radiator that actually we didn't mm, adjust the radiation settings but if you want uh, you can click on the radiation tab in the ANSI settings so you can activate the radiation equations to solve it but it's uh, it's maybe unnecessary in our temperatures so uh, you have to uh, know that how it affects your results so maybe one person is not important but it affects your result the 60 percent yes you have to click on the radiation settings and you have to click the you have to actually view the values of the radiation parameters to get uh, better results for your simulation so yeah thank you for your listening and goodbye guys